Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So today we'll be understanding understanding the part three section of the same uh, Grafana Cloud playlist. I mean, we have already seen how to ship matrices from uh, any for any application from your local uh, Ubuntu box or any machine to Grafana Cloud. And the next session we saw how to send the logs from local box to GC. Today we'll be just looking at the uh, you know sending traces to uh, Grafana Cloud machine. And what we'll be doing it uh, as a prerequisites, uh, we'll be doing a creating a Grafana Cloud account, and then we'll be installing the uh, the Tempo agent on our local machine and then we'll modify the configuration to send to traces to Grafana and then we'll inject uh, certain traces from the test application using K6. K6 is another open source tool adopted by Grafana for uh, you know load testing. Now that is pretty much we'll be doing it in today's session. Uh, before moving on to the practical implementation of this, uh, please uh, you know do like and subscribe the channel so that you can get plenty of sessions pertaining to Grafana, Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, and so on. Okay, so I've spent a you know easy to instance just to make sure everything is running smoothly or separately. Uh, one uh, small easy to instance, and I'm installing my uh, Grafana and everything in this, uh, and then we'll see the Grafana cloud definitely at the end. Okay, so uh, just to start with it, uh, we have a GitHub page on do this Grafana tempo. On which I have done this tempo thing earlier with Kubernetes, but today I will be doing it with the help of you know uh, onto onto Ubuntu box, and finally we'll see the onto the Grafana cloud how to send these traces uh, on Grafana cloud. Okay, so uh, this is the GitHub page which I have created it for your uh, copy paste references. So simply run it on any of the box, and it, it will bring up the configuration. Okay, so let's see what we have in our uh, you know documentation so this is the documentation i'm talking about if all uh, if you don't have grafana cloud account you can simply go and uh, go on google and create a grafana cloud account with a valid email id now once you have a grafana cloud account uh, let's first of all install uh, the tempo uh, or distributed tracing agent adopted by grafana onto a box from where you need to capture all the traces okay so with these commands i can install my tempo on this ec2 instance which is already there i will not run this command let me see if this configuration is already modified yeah okay fine so this is my instance i've already executed these commands you need to just download this page, package unpackage and then uh, go to this file cd etc tempo so uh, you'll be in this location cd etc and then tempo would be the folder that will get created now this is the configuration file that I'm talking about. On the second step, you need to copy paste this tempo.config from here and then copy paste into there. So the only difference which you might have on this uh, file from your end, uh, make sure that you are changing this IP to the relevant IP where your uh, addresses will get generated. So what is this? This is the temp you know, basic tempo configuration. These are the certain receivers and we'll be collecting all the logs on, uh, on you know, GRPC port or HTTP port number 4317. These are the certain receivers, and then uh, the matrix generator is this. Okay, and then if it is a Docker Compose base file, so these are the certain write ahead logs or directories, and this is the, the URL where my matrix will get be written. So when I say matrix, the tempo matrices. Okay, and this is the storage for your uh, tempo traces, uh, the wall directory and the block directory. And we are enabling a span matrices and the service graph. So this is the very raw installation or the configuration of tempo. Once uh, this is I mean installation is done, I will really, then we will restart the tempo service. So for restarting the tempo service, I'll come here and then I'll simply see whether my tempo is running or not. First of all, I'll check this status. The tempo is running. So I can see my tempo services are running and let me quickly, uh, there's one more command to whether the tempo is active or not. So tempo is active. 
so i have independently installed tempo and it is running fine let me see the services log there, there are no lock and warnings in my tempo agent so independently tempo is working fine now i'll install one sample application uh, using you know k6 k6 is a load testing tool uh, you know adopted by grafana so with this you can do a git cloning of this repository which i have already done this and the git cloning will come like this okay and then you need to go into side this folder and then you need to go to this share directory now before i execute this uh, docker compose application so this is the docker compose file let me explain you so i'm you know in the starting three containers k6 tracing prometheus container and grafana container so prometheus container is nothing but it will run prometheus on this 9090 port in the same machine it will it will run grafana with this 11.00 version on the same machine with 3000 port and then another k6 tracing application which runs on jaeger this version it will send the traces of that application to this ip which is the machine ip on this grpc port or http port you can say right 4317 so these are the three independent containers that will get spinned up when will i run a docker compose file now there are certain other things that we need to make sure that under this shared folder there's a data source and all these files so these files are used when we are in each time starting this docker compose so prometheus.yaml is the first file which will be used if we see so what is this what is there in the prometheus this is the configuration for this prometheus honey i'm what i'm doing i'm just creating two jobs one for prometheus for capturing the matrix of this prometheus itself and one for tempo matrices which will get uh, generated on this port number 33200 so if i want to see whether my tempo is executing any matrices i can try here and matrices see tempo matrices are coming so this is the tempo agent matrices similarly we have a uh, prometheus matrices also on 9090 because we have two containers right so this is just the matrix scraping now this is the prometheus.ml which is used in uh, docker compose file now if i see basically what i'm saying please bring up my prometheus container with this configuration that will scrape matrices uh, with remote write enabled from tempo endpoint as well as from a uh, prometheus endpoint tempo agent endpoint prometheus endpoint agent now let's see the uh, other grafana data source yaml that is there so grafana data source yaml is nothing but you know i'm saying uh, that please add these two data sources one will be prometheus name which is the endpoint another will be tempo which is running on the same ip with 3200 and without any uh, you know uh, authentication basic authentication is disabled fine so that is uh, pretty much about this let me just quickly go through and run this uh, docker compose file i'll come here okay and then i'll do a docker compose up since it was running a few minutes ago so it did not take much time to come up i'll just restart my tempo so that everything should fall in place and we can see the uh, the tempo services okay see it is getting stopped so i'm running a tempo services runtime just to see what is happening so this is my tempo service general ctl minus u service minus running logs f so it is i think getting restarted yeah it is restarted so let it will take another 10 seconds to get restarted and then we'll see we'll go directly on grafana to see the traces okay so i think it got restarted now yeah so let me simply check the status of this tempo which is now reading the docker compose so tempo is running 12 seconds ago whether my tempo is active or not tempo is also active perfect so uh, are there any logs there are no logs okay fine error warning perfect so now let me go to my grafana this is my grafana make sure you are opening uh, 3000 port and 1990 port and 3200 port from any machine wherever uh you are running so before i go to tempo let me show you the matrices which i've enabled two endpoints so uh, i'll run my magic query 
getting the distinct uh, matrices so i will get uh, tempo and the uh, prometheus matrices uh, uh, from from my uh, prometheus.yaml agent okay now i'll come on to tempo i just simply see uh, this services and all the traces should come because it is a you know i can do like this i can see all the traces coming beautifully i mean all the different different spans are coming now what i'll do i'll just go back and then click on explore and click on service graph because i've enabled service graph also so i can see the complete user transaction stop shop backend author authentication service then article service postgre service net card service so i can see all the traces pertaining to this you know span so this is a kind of node graph or service graph and we can check it for any transaction if you know the transaction we can simply type the transaction and then you know you can search it and you can do the other filtrations also now coming back to the uh, to the grafana cloud side of it so uh, so my grafana cloud account is already expired but what you need to do in your configuration file you need to simply uh, change this with the uh, grafana cloud url now how to get that grafana cloud url you need to simply come here and then okay you need to click here and then there will be a tempo section so yes go to details okay and then uh, this is the url that you need to copy this url see why i am not doing it on this machine because this is outdated this ubuntu machine will be doing it, so you need to paste it like this okay or you can do one thing you can do like this copy paste of the center https i'll be doing another session using grafana alloy which is the which is the replacement of grafana agent so that will make more sense but you can simply change this endpoint here the, the tempo endpoint and rest uh, you don't need to change anything you, you can simply comment out this prometheus and grafana because uh, since grafana cloud this is not needed or if you have any other application that you can you want to set send it up you can directly just replace the tempo or the tracing url in your application so and other change that you need to do which is very important to understand i'll just show you cd etc tempo so we are collecting prometheus matrices also so so you need to just change this config this url is this url with the remote write url of uh cloud how you can do that you already know that how i did in grafana cloud matrices you need to copy paste this guy these four lines and then paste it here then uh, the application matrices will go to grafana cloud and application traces to go to the tempo server which i just you know showed it to you how you can get it from here so that is pretty much i'll i'll not take much time on this topic because this is a kind of little bit uh topic that will go done and dusted after six months or maybe after a year or so but the term tempo understanding is important from non-kubernetes perspective earlier i did it with kubernetes this is a non-kubernetes based implementation of tempo using k6 test application next we'll see how the grafana alloy is becoming popular and it is becoming as a you know since uh, grafana agent is deprecated so we need to just quickly adopt grafana alloy we'll be checking all the grafana alloy implementation on uh, ubuntu kubernetes and all the other aspect and we'll see how we can capture the metrics logs and traces from grafana alloy okay i'll take a pause here uh, if you have any kinds of doubts and questions you can post out into the comment section and before we uh, you know close out the session please make sure that you uh, uh, like and subscribe the channel uh, and post down any query that you have it into the comment section we we'll look forward your interesting use cases so that we can try solving it over the weekend okay thanks for your time we'll see you next weekend yeah bye, -bye.